We got a tour inside the burned out building here located at 15th and High Street today. The owner tells me that he has been flooded with support and well wishes, just like this card left here at the front door from former customers, each and every one of them asking one question, when will you reopen? Damage estimates from the blaze tallied $600,000. The fire tearing down more than just Neil News business. It put a halt to his daily routine of serving the community. Every day is hard to get up and see things like this. The Carlo demolition on site today, removing pieces of the charred roof and replacing steel beams. The interior has seen a lot of progress since mid August. Take a look at these pictures snapped just five days after the fire. Adong employees have been forced to sit, wait, and watch. What they see inside is a sight far from the once bustling business. They can wait until they come back and see Adong once again. Fans of the Vietnamese restaurant have been riding to New and his family almost daily. Many commenting on Facebook when New posted pictures of the construction progress and a promise to rebuild. Pretty much every day I got people stop by and say hello and ask me when the business will be up again. If crews continue to work on schedule, New says he aims to reopen the restaurant by Thanksgiving. Good news for its many loyal customers. Good food, nice people that work there. It's a great place to go, so it'll be excited to see it get back open. I asked the owner here tonight if this rebuild is an opportunity for him to take some time and tweak the menu just a little bit. Well, for those of you waiting anxiously to dine here once again and order your favorite meal, no worries, he says. The menu is staying just the same. Live in Sherman Hill, Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News. Iowa's news leader.